What's up guys, it's the Young Mazel here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I wanted to build off of a topic that I brought up at the end of one of my last videos, diving into the concept of purpose. And um, you know, how people are saying, how do I find my purpose? I know that's a, a relevant thought stream that comes up a lot in people's lives. So I was listening to this podcast, this Jock, Jocko podcast is the name of it. And um, so many great points were, were brought up that uh, I was like, man, this is some real, this is a different perspective on it. And um, I like it. So they were mentioning purpose in terms of, purpose is like an analgesic. It, uh, it takes some of the pain out of life. You know, it helps you to focus. It helps you to remember things. And um, the way to go about finding purpose is not some sort of long ponderance on your life's mission or, or trying to find that one career, you know, it, it's not that. You can start by a self-organization. You start your self-organization by running a fine tooth comb through yourself and seeing those things that we're all doing things that stupid things that we repeatedly do that are lowering the quality of our life. They described it as we're all doing stupid things that are making our lives more wretched. So you go through those, you fine tune comb your own self and you find those things about yourself that you do that you know are wrong straight up and you start there. You start your self-organization there. And the concept of atonement was kind of brought up, was brought up, and I thought that was interesting because they were like, you know, you've done something, we've all, we've done something in the past that where you've hurt someone, and atoning, you might not be able to make that person feel better, or, or like feel better for what you've done, but you might be in another situation where you can. You know, you can uh, benefit that situation or you can help in another way in hopes of kind of atoning for your past wrongs and kind of leaning on the side towards good. So you continue your self-organization by trying to improve those things that are self-evidently not good. Self-evidently not good, whether around you or within yourself. First of all, you have to be honest with yourself and you have to really want to know. You have to really want to know, you know, what are those things that are not working within yourself. And once you get those, because out of one of those things, there's going to be something that you really want to take responsibility for. Because when we talk about purpose, we're talking about taking responsibility for something. You, you want to take, you're going to want to take responsibility for something. And what's interesting is the concept of nihilism, where people think that life is inherently meaningless. And it's like the Cain and Abel story. Um, you keep failing over and over again, thinking you're not, gonna, you're, you're not doing the right thing. And eventually, it starts to change your perception about life. And you start, to, you start pitting yourself to working against life, you know, whether it's not helping others, which is just as bad as doing harm to them, or, you know, you you start to, you feel that life, you get sick of life, you know, and when you are working on taking responsibility for your own uh, misgivings or your own, the things that are wrong about yourself, you're working on constraining those perceptions and those actions that will put you in that place, that will put you in that whole mindset of making you sick of life and, and uh, all that because failure will do that to you. You're working against that. You're taking responsibility for yourself. So you're starting. You're starting the process. You're starting the process. And what's going to build from that is your perception about where you stand in the bigger picture is going to grow because you're going to start to realize that 
once you work on yourself, you're going to put yourself in a, in a better space to be more available for the whatever's going on around you, for the service that might be needed, that you might be called to do around you. It's not, I said this in my last video, it's not about stretching yourself to this whole giant goal that, that you can't, you're not really capable of. It's about stretching yourself to what you're capable of doing where you are. So you fine tune those things within yourself. You know, you look at what are those things within you that you can get rid of even if a little bit now. Now, you have to frame it like this. There's this quote in the book, The Ego is the Enemy. Make it about what you feel you must do and say, not what you care about or what you wish to be. And that, it kind of flips the whole notion of, oh, your purpose, follow your passion. Oh, you follow your passion. It's not, it's not that, you know, it's not that kind of passion of like, because passion is something that we get misconstrued a lot. You know, people are passionate. Sometimes passion is that, that kind of like leap of energy that you want to just, you jump on something and it kind of like is all over the place. And it's not really going to help you if you're thinking about what your purpose is. What you feel you must do and say is going to take your consideration, it's going to take some deliberation. So it's going to take some work, some time for you to really think about what you feel you must do. And it goes back to also what I was talking about in my, uh, in my last video about the purposeless rat is more prone to addiction. And the magnitude of the reward that you get, which is really a state of being, is going to be a direct correlation of the amount of meaning that you put into the goal. So this is why it takes consideration. You really got to think about it. But a good place to start is to go through your own self and work on those things that are not really working, that, that are not, you know, self-evidently not good. Because those are the, those you know, aspects of yourself that are not really good are the underlying reasons of like the lack of morality or, or like the lack of, you know, the evil in the world, quote unquote evil, you know, those people that do those kinds of things, it stemmed from not really dealing with those aspects of themselves that are not good. You know, they just let them get out of control and, you know, life you know, failure over and over and over again has pitted them against life. So you working on yourself is kind of, you're getting there when it, when it comes to what you, what you start to feel you must do. So, yeah, kind of a whole bunch of, of, of points, different points there, but they all kind of blend together. And, um, you have to figure out what you want to take responsibility for. Not in a prideful way, but figure out what you want to, what you can improve on, you know, within yourself and around you. You know, and you gotta really think about it. So, that's all I really wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you guys got something from that video, from this. Um, if you did, make sure to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day, and remember, a greater perspective can lead to a greater connection. Peace.